Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Survival Games mini-series. In this episode, we're going to set up the command structure. We're not actually going to write any of the commands today, because uh, that'll take a little while. There's a bunch of commands that we need to write, uh, but we're just going to set up, um, you know, like our command manager, our command class, and then, uh, you know, all of that important information. So, first thing that we'll go ahead and do is create the command class. So we're going to go ahead and create the class, call it command, and we'll go ahead and make this an abstract class, and it's going to have a public, uh, it's not static, public abstract void um, on command, which takes in player p and string array args. Um, so first of all, uh, this command class, um, actually we should probably give it a better name. I'm going to call it, um, game command. So this game command class represents a command for this particular game. And it has a method called onCommand, which takes in a player and the arguments. Um, now it's abstract, which means that any implementation of this game command needs to define this method. So, um, if I have one for joining a game, uh, and I have a public class join game extends game command, I need to include a public void on command, which takes in the player and the args, and then it would obviously join them to whichever game they want based on the arguments. So, this is the game command. Next thing that we'll go ahead and do is create, actually not a class, sorry. We're going to create um, an annotation. Um, and we're going to call this um, command info. Now, it's not necessary that you do this, but since I pretty much never use annotations, and this is the one place where I can use an annotation, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of it. Um, I think I have a Java 101 video on this. If not, I will definitely make one. Uh, but annotations, you can just apply um, an annotation to a class, and you can store information with it, and then um, uh, and then you can retrieve the information later. So there are first two important things that we need to include at the top. First of all, um, retention. So at retention, that's the retention um, annotation, and then uh, it takes retention policy dot runtime so what this and make sure to import both things what that means is if I apply this annotation somewhere it will save it until runtime so I can access it later and then also at target um, I think it's element type yeah element type dot um, it would be class or Yeah, type. Okay. So what we're saying here is the data from command info will be saved through runtime, so I can still access it. And then the target is for any kind of a type. So I can apply command info to a class, but I can't apply it to a method. That's basically what this means. Um, it's going to have, first of all, a string called... Um, uh, let's see, what do we need? String called description, um, and then it'll have a string array called aliases. So it'll have a description and a bunch of aliases. So, for example, for the join command, the description would be um, join a game, and the aliases would be join or j, probably. And that should be good for there. This will make more sense once we actually use it, um, but I'll quickly show you an example of it now. So we have our game command and we have our command info, so now we need to write the uh, command manager. This class will be instantiated. It will be instantiated once in the main. So we're going to go ahead and give it a private um, array list of game command called cmds. We're not going to instantiate it yet. Then we're going to have, hang on one second, this will not be a singleton because we're going to um, 
uh, instantiated only once a protected command manager constructor cmds is equal to new array list um, of type game command and then this is where we're going to add all commands once we make them then oh yeah this needs to implement command executor import that and then we need to give it uh, the method the on command method um, because this command manager will be in charge of receiving um, commands and then handling them. So, and then string array args. Okay. Um, so, first of all, if not sender instance of player sender dot send message check color dot red and we can say um, only sorry, only Players can use blood bath and make sure to return true. Player P is equal to not new player, it's equal to player sender. Okay, so now we know that the um, sender is um, certainly a player and we did the cast. So if cmd.getName dot equals ignore case bloodbath and we will write the plugin.yml to register it later but the pl uh, command will be bloodbath and we can put in aliases bb and maybe sg and survival games as well so if it is bloodbath if args.length is equal to 0 then we're going to say for game command cmd in cmds so we're going to go through each game command and we're going to send um, we're going to send uh, we're going to print out all of the information we're going to say ch -ch -ch -ch. let me think of how we want to do this we're going to say system dot out dot or not sorry uh, we're going to say, first we need to get the command info, so command info info is equal to gcmd.getClass.getAnnotation command info.class. So the first thing is we're getting all of the command information. Now this assumes that every um, instance of game command will have this annotation, and it definitely should. Uh, so now we have the info. So now we can do um, p dot send message check color dot gold, and then we'll say slash bloodbath, and then we're gonna have all of the different aliases, um, and then we're going to have info dot description, and I think that we can do string utils. Dot join yes. Dot join info. Dot aliases. Is there? Can I do that? Ah, swap the arguments. Okay. And now. Oh, <laughs> forgot the plus. Okay. And string utils is that one. Okay, okay, there. So now what we're doing is, so for example, for the command join, it would print out slash bloodbath join j, um, and then the description. So it would print out a list of all of the different commands. And you, you, we could surround that um, like this. And we want to trim that. So now all of the different options would be surrounded in uh, parentheses, and that would print out um, the description. So an example output would be slash bloodbath um, join j uh, join a game. And you could change it. You could put like a comma in there, and then it would work as well, but wh however you want to do it. Okay, so that is some sample output. 
So if there are no arguments, then stop it right there. Then we're going to say game command gcmd is equal to null. So now we're going to attempt to find, now we know that they've entered at least one argument, so we're going to attempt to find the command. So if they enter join or j, then it should find the join command. Then we're going to say, um, we can actually just copy this. Um, we'll just say want, we'll just call it wanted because that's what we want to have. Then we're going to say for string alias in info dot aliases if alias dot equals args zero then wanted is equal to gcmd uh, and then break. So we're going through each command, then we're going through each alias, then if that alias is equal to the command that we want, then we ha set wanted equal to this command and then we stop looping through. So if wanted is equal to null, so if it wasn't able to find anything then it doesn't exist and we want to um, send a message in red and say could not find command uh, and then return true. Now this next part is um, given these um, arguments we want to um, we only want to store we only want to pass on from uh, the second argument and on because the first argument is the command that we want so if we want the join command um, then all of the arguments passed to join should not include the join command. I don't know if that really makes too much sense, but uh, basically, if I say bloodbath join arena1, then it should call on command in the join command class and only receive the arena name. It shouldn't be told that it's trying to join because we already know that it is. So array list string, or just list string, um, new args is equal to arrays dot as list args and import that new args dot remove zero args is equal to new args dot to array new string array uh, new args dot length new args dot size is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so now we put new args. So now we just, uh, basically all we're doing here is we're removing the first um, element from that array of arguments. Then we're going to say um, wanted.onCommand. We already have the player, and now we also have the args. So now it will call that on command method. So... Um, let's say I type in slash bloodbath. It would print out all of the different um, commands that I could possibly do. If I type in bloodbath and then some command that doesn't exist, it would tell me could not find command. If I type in bloodbath j or bloodbath join, um, then it would find the join command uh, and then it would call the join command given the um, arguments, which would be the arena that I want to join. Um, Alright, I think that's all for this episode. We're just going to go ahead and quickly register the commands so that I don't forget. Uh, that would be get command bloodbath dot set executor. Oh, I'm sorry, this doesn't even extend Java plugin. Whoops. And we want to do set executor new command manager. Okay. So now that's all for this video. We wrote um, a command manager along with the command info and game command um, classes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. And I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, coding videos. Uh, bye, guys.